the problem is not that we are going to be a part of a problem or part of the answer. We must remember that we are imperfect people. But within this imperfection, how does God uh, project a perfection? You can read about this incident in John chapter 13, where Jesus washes the disciples' feet and he makes an astonishing claim. He says, by this the world will know that you are disciples, you are my disciples, if you love one another. And in the context of the washing of the feet, you can even reread the statement, if you wash one another's feet. In other words, if I'm a Christian and I'm imperfect, and you decide to follow Christ, you become a Christian, and you know that you are imperfect, but you correct me by washing my feet, and I correct you by washing your feet. The world looks at two imperfect people in a perfect relationship, and that is achievable. So let us not simply uh, dismiss the whole issue saying that the church is imperfect, but be part of all imperfect churches in the world, and the world is going to see a glorious picture of two imperfect people in a perfect relationship.